When you want to satisfy an intense burger craving, there's one place to go, Five Guys. We all know that a Five Guys burger is amazing, but what exactly makes it so good? Let's talk about the secrets of some of the best burgers around. Five Guys won the Harris Pulls Burger Brand of the Year Award in 2017 and 2018, beating In-N-Out Burger both years, which is no easy feat considering how passionate people are about In-N-Out Burger. In-N-Out, In-N-Out, that's what a hamburger is all about. They've also come out on top of 17 other burger chains, including the usual suspects like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, and Carl's Jr., and even the more posh burger spots Whataburger and Shake Shack. And that speaks volumes about their legions of fans. In-N-Out may have regained the title in 2019, but holding that honor for two years is something to be proud of, and it shows just how much people love Five Guys. Why do we love them so much? Five Guys is known for two things, burgers and fries. They also offer hot dogs, and you can get a grilled cheese on the same bun and with the same cheese that's used for a burger. If you're the type of person who actually orders grilled cheese at a restaurant. But here's the thing. Five Guys doesn't serve chicken sandwiches or filet of fish sandwiches or rib sandwiches or fancy salads. It's burgers and fries. They focus on making those things great, and they're clearly succeeding. As of 2013, Americans were eating about 50 billion burgers a year, which equals out to about three juicy hamburgers per person per week. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. About 60% of all sandwiches purchased worldwide are actually hamburgers. And that just shows Five Guys has some serious critics to please. To co-opt another slogan from another burger chain, you can definitely have it your way at Five Guys because they offer 15 different toppings to choose from. These include mayo, ketchup, mustard, A1 sauce, barbecue sauce, hot sauce, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, relish, grilled onions, grilled mushrooms, green peppers, and jalapeno peppers. You can choose as many of these toppings as you want for free. And heck, you can stick all 15 of them in your burger if that's what you're into. Compare this to the standard burger you can order at Burger King, which comes with ketchup, mustard, and pickles. Or the McDonald's hamburger, which offers the same condiments as BK, with the addition of a few chopped onions. Sure, there's something to be said for the simplicity of a burger with just ketchup and mustard, but having the option to add as many as 15 toppings to the situation is one of the things that makes Five Guys Burgers so delicious and crave-worthy. I want one. And thanks to those 15 toppings, there are a whole lot of ways that customers can satisfy whatever their cravings are. The combinations are basically endless, and it doesn't matter how big of a fan you are, you're just never going to get to try them all. Sorry, that's because there are more than 250,000 ways to customize a burger. It's no surprise that fans of this fast food joint are pretty passionate about their favorite combos. In fact, just thinking about them is enough to make you grab your car keys and head to your local Five Guys to explore some of these crazy delicious sounding options. I want one. Sure, you can order 15 different toppings and customize your burger about 250,000 ways, but that doesn't mean all those toppings are going to be piled on all willy-nilly. That would be chaos, and yes, the order really does matter when it comes to quality. Five Guys has a specific way of placing add-ons onto your burger for the ultimate yum factor. Onions and bacon go underneath the patty, while tomatoes and pickles go on top of it. Burger aficionados have many different opinions on what the actual correct placement of condiments and toppings on a burger are, but it appears that Five Guys does it so the warm toppings stay with the warm toppings, and the cool toppings mingle together separately. There's also a lot of speculation about why Five Guys puts your french fry order on top of your burger in the brown bag it comes in. When this question was posted on Reddit, a commenter responded, I always thought this was so that the burger just gets a little bit warmer, the cheese melts a little more, the bun gets a little steamy and soft. Even though you can customize your burger at Five Guys a gazillion different ways, there's one way you can't customize it, how much it's cooked. No, you can't get it bloody or still mooing or even medium rare because every burger cooked at Five Guys is prepared well done. But that's a good thing. Five Guys hasn't officially explained the reasoning behind this policy, but it's likely that safety is one of the concerns. There are some major health risks associated with eating raw meat, including the consumption of bacteria like E. coli and salmonella. Because of these risks, the FDA advises that ground beef be cooked to a minimum internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And even if you opt for making your burger a little differently at home, well, you should be grateful Five Guys goes a little further with theirs. No one wants a side of salmonella with their burger. The hamburger buns used for Five Guys Burgers are the perfect vehicle to get that juicy slab of meat into your mouth. They're soft, fluffy, and perfectly toasted on the grill. Five Guys doesn't use a standard bun toaster because it doesn't give you that caramelized taste that cooking them directly on the grill does. Can you imagine a Five Guys burger without that slight char on the bun? Perfect toastiness aside, the buns only contain a few ingredients, and they're basically the same ingredients that are in your average cake. They also contain twice as many eggs as normal buns, which explains their dreamy texture. On Inc., founder Jerry Mural explains where these magical buns come from. We make the same bun we started with. We hired the old guy who used to bake our bread for the first store and one of his partners. 
my bakery was two doors from the restaurant, and I went in and told them they needed a bit of bread. They work in the Virginia Bakery. We have 10 bakeries scattered around the nation. Our bread is baked daily, picked up by 3 p.m., and put on the truck or plane so every store gets fresh bread every morning, even if they are 400 miles away from the nearest bakery. As they say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Did you know that the Green Bay Packers have an official bacon? Well, they do, and it happens to be the same kind of bacon that Five Guys uses on all of their burger offerings with bacon. If it's good enough for the Packers, it's good enough for you. Just what makes it so special? Five Guys bacon is applewood smoked, and that's important. Why? It's all about the flavor. Nothing burps better than bacon. Bacon Today had this to say about what makes applewood smoked bacon incredible. Applewood chips result in bacon that is mildly sweet and smoky. It is the second most popular wood used after hickory as it results in bacon that is perfectly balanced between smoky and sweet. You can definitely taste that perfectly balanced flavor on each and every one of Five Guys Bacon Burgers, and if you haven't yet, try out one of the bacon burgers on your next visit. Or if you want to skip the burger altogether, you can also simply order a BLT with extra bacon because it's the good stuff. Not that other stuff. Would you like to sample our vegan bacon? 100% meatless. Yes, please. You aren't going to get some weird preformed freezer burn patty when you order a burger from Five Guys because their stores don't even have freezers. Everything is made fresh to order. Five Guys is so committed to freshness that it takes an entire three hours to open the restaurants each day because everything from the burgers to the produce that is sliced and chopped to go on your burgers is prepared that morning. They also use wireless freshness sensors. And to get all technical and fancy about it, the RFID journal explains it like this. The system uses active 900 megahertz sensors from 0.6 wireless and helps to ensure that raw ingredients are stored at a safe temperature and are not served if they have exceeded their approved temperature threshold. In other words, technology is making sure you aren't going to get some germ-ridden, warm, slimy lettuce on your burger that could make you sick. And that's a great use for today's modern technological marvels. One of the coolest things about the burgers at Five Guys and why their burgers are such a great value is that their standard burger isn't even a burger at all. It's two burgers. That's a lot of beef for your buck. There's two of them! If you just can't deal with that much beef, you can request a little burger, which is a single patty. But let's be honest, it's a double every time, right? As with all good things, there's a catch. All this delicious cow comes at a hefty nutritional price point. If you opt for that little burger, you're going to be getting a meal clocking in at 542 calories and 26 grams of fat. Numbers that will, of course, vary with whatever toppings you decide to layer on. Upgrade that to a bacon cheeseburger and you're looking at 1,064 calories and 62 grams of fat. Plus, again, all those toppings you'll pick. If you're one of those that likes mayo on your burger, you can add another 100 calories to that total. And just in case a double isn't enough, you can definitely pile on another patty or two for just a tad bit extra, if that's the way you roll. You only live once, after all. Oh, that's too much? Order your burger in a bowl and cut out the bun altogether. Any way you slice it, that's still a huge amount of calories for just one meal. But isn't that a huge part of what makes something taste oh so good? Tomorrow's another day, right? This is definitely what I'm having on my cheat day. <laughs> Considering the fact that your burger is made from scratch, Five Guys does a great job of getting you fed rather quickly. Sure, it may take a few minutes longer than ordering a burger from a place with the clown as their mascot, but Five Guys is more of a fast casual restaurant than a fast food joint. They hand form all the patties, they grill the bun, they also don't use any timers in their restaurants, and that's because they always say their cooks are good enough to know when a burger is just the right amount of done. Your burger will be served fresh to you when it's done, and it won't sit under some heat lamp waiting for anyone to come in and order it, and that's a good thing. No, Five Guys won't take as long as a sit-down restaurant with silverware and cloth napkins, but if the restaurant is busy, you can expect to wait a bit. Anybody want a peanut? Yeah! That's what all of those free peanuts are there for, so you can chow down while you wait for your burger to be prepared. Five Guys has two important things going for it, excellent customer service and happy employees. Both of those things make any meal more enjoyable, and it's impossible to stress just how much better a burger tastes when it's handed to you by someone who's smiling. And according to those who have worked there, it's not just an act. One former employee took to Reddit to talk about just what it was like to work at Five Guys, saying, Fun for the most part, due to the fact that it's an open kitchen, the employees are encouraged to joke around and have fun, even to the point of all-out dancing, as long as you can keep on track with the job you're doing. If your food is prepared with happiness, it's just going to taste better. No one wants a burger made by some angry dude who hates their job. Oh, I'm sure he's gone for it. That's just 